But you don't have to have power. To be worthy of souls love children, you only need faith. And that is one thing that this robot can never take away from us. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss episode 6 of Raised by Wolves, titled Tree, or as I like to call it, The New Mutants. We saw a lot of crazy changes this episode, so let's dive right into the acid ocean, or... Oh, is it too soon? If you like this video and more on Raised by Wolves, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all the latest on this show and more. So we were given an official title to what I've been speculating on since last season regarding the mutation of species on Kepler. Father started calling it Botanitech. Father believes this is how Grandmother was brought back to life and potentially how number seven, number seven is also a complex being, was grown by Mother. We have two new cases to account for, Tempest Baby and Mary Sue. I think we were all very afraid for what Tempest might do to the baby or what effect the planet might have on it. I personally was afraid that he or she might come out as a humanoid or even another snake baby, but no, just a sweet chubby bundle of joy and Tempest immediately fell in love. But of course, we cannot enjoy a moment of happiness and some sort of acid ocean monster came and took this baby. We have to talk about this. Now this creature looks different than the one Mary took the leeches from. This one had a much more terrifying face and emerged from one of the planet's many holes, but this hole was underwater or acid. It heard the baby's cries and came quickly to take it. The creature did not devour the baby, however. It seemingly incubated it inside its chest chamber. Is this another example of Botanitech? a way for the baby to mutate with sea creatures. I want to bring attention to the scene between father and grandmother when he was reading her memories. He pulled one file which offered a visual of the same sea creature that took Tempest's baby. What is interesting about this is what mother said about grandmother after scanning her in father's workshop. Though father and Campion believe grandmother is harmless, mother questions her dark photon processor. Father told Grandmother that there are a few hundred humans on the planet and one more on the way, and Grandmother immediately shut down her files and her communications. If Grandmother puts out dark photon communications or reports to a higher power, did she somehow communicate to the sea creature to expect a new life form to mutate with? Think about Tempest's reaction. She told the creature, she's mine, which is an interesting response in that moment. I wonder if the creature or Sol's voice communicated to her? Was this part of the master plan when Sol told Otho to rape the other women on the ship to create babies for Botanitech experimentation? One thing we might consider is if the creature is attempting to mutate, would this result in an evolved human who could handle the extremes of the acid ocean? And we must ask, are the sea creatures, which the variant six leeches fed on, actually mutated sea humanoids. Yikes. Now let's discuss what happened with Mary Sue. When Paul and Mary tried to hatch the seed pod the first time, all we saw was number seven getting extremely aggravated back at the camp. What is the connection between the snake and the seed? I think I have a theory on this, but I'll save it for another video. Mary decided to break Marcus out of the brig, and along with Paul, the family went out to try and hatch the seed. We have been told so many times throughout the show by the Mithraic that one must be pure for soul, and I think that Mary truly was pure in her heart and intention, more so than anyone else. What is remarkable as well is that her family have endured tests, which was foretold as the path to grow the tree. Marcus and Paul have both proven to withstand evolution on Kepler, and the ability to return from the evolved state back to normal. Paul was infected by the trust and transformed into a snake creature, but with the variant six leeches, his transformation was reversed, and he's now seemingly back to normal. Marcus swallowed mother's necromancer eyes and became a superhuman powered by an android. But when mother took them back, he went back to normal Marcus and only his faith became stronger. We were told that in order to grow the tree, we needed the sword, and there would be tests. Marcus has the sword, and he has passed many tests. Mary came with a pure heart, singing to her adopted son full of love, and the seed was revealed to her. 
Mary, the doctor, who was barren before and unable to have children of her own, was transformed into the tree of knowledge and bore fruit with the power to heal, if what Marcus foretold is true. It seems the truth was revealed to him after eating the fruit. He knows that sacrifice was necessary to grow the tree, and he knows that it is Mary's blood pumping life through the tree. What power will that tree bring? Will Mary, like her family, have the power to return to a human state? Is that part of the test for Marcus and Paul, to keep their faith after Mary sacrificed herself? So much to think about, and I am fresh out of brain fruit from the tree of knowledge right now. Darn it. We see in the trailer for episode 7 that the collective will be eating these fruits, and we'll have to see what sort of effect they will have on the elect. Is this the forbidden fruit they indulge in? Mother also seems to be mourning for Mary, and I believe that on the silver tarot card that Lucius took from Marcus, she saw what would happen to Mary when she hatched the seed. She is very sad over the choices of her friend, and between this and the loss of Tempest's baby, I believe we're going to see Mother upgrade once again. As we saw in season one, when the first five of her children died, she upgraded to necromancer mode when Campion became her last child as a defense mechanism that activated when the mission became dire. The loss of Tempest Baby will surely bring out more of Mother's defenses to ensure the future of humanity on Kepler. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Botanitech is coming from other species on this planet? Do you think Grandmother is connected to the loss of Tempest Baby? Is Mary making the forbidden fruit? I hope you all enjoyed this video and be sure to hit that notification bell for the next one coming to you soon. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. You're both far too trusting. <laughs>